What's up guys? Hope you're doing well. Um, so I thought of a topic today to talk about and I completely forgot what it was. Um, so it's kind of where I'm at right now and it was a good topic too I think there's a couple topics I want to talk about that I eventually will get to but I'm holding off on um, just I really don't know why just for because I think I need to like gain a little more experience before I can actually talk about them but um, I also am like tempted to just like like I want to talk about non motorcycle content which I have a little bit, you know, like I've talked about my exams and uh, my, you know, final um, performances for a couple classes. I've talked about it a little bit, but like I honestly kind of want to do like videos where I talk about my like, my like, like one I've thought about is my top five like TV shows of all time. See, but I don't know if that's really like what I should, the kind of content that I should be making really. Cause like I'm, I want to be more about motorcycles, but there's only so much I can talk about. I only have a year experience under my belt. Um, so it's gotten to kind of a point um, that I want to just kind of chat, make it kind of like a vlog. But at the same time, I'm really, the only, t the only thing I'm really ever doing is going to class aside from now in the summer. So I want to like actually have topics to talk about like non-motorcycle related so what's going on hey doggo I really I so I mentioned that I had a topic I was gonna talk about and I forgot it I had one that I just thought of while I was saying that and now that one slipped my mind I might just go quiet for a second, see if I can uh, think about it again. <laughs> oh, there's someone hammocking there. So it was funny, one of my friends uh, came over and her and I were talking about, um, she, or she had told me that she got a hammock and she was gonna go, uh, <laughs> she said she's like, she's so glad the weather's getting nice, I can start, I can go hammocking. I'm excited to go hammocking and I looked at I'm like what did you just say hammocking I'm like what do you mean hammocking like with ing on the end of it like that's is that a thing like people go hammocking like you'd go hiking or walking or running biking you know those action words I was like I've never heard anybody say hammocking what do you what do you even do what does that consist of <laughs> It's just funny. She's like, oh, I'm going to make it a thing. I'm going to make it a thing. I thought that was funny. And then I just saw that hammock. It made me think of that. I don't know what hammock. You maybe just post up wherever. I mean, you got a park like this. You could probably find trees that are close enough. You just post up and chill for a bit. Shoot, that might have been her. Posted up in the skate park area. But I thought of what I was going to mention. Uh, this isn't really like a topic for a video, but I want to talk about how uh, I don't have much time because I'm almost to my destination, but um, I want to talk about how you can shift with your motorcycle without using the clutch. So I've talked about rev matching before. I don't think I made, I made a posted public video about rev matching, so I might do that at some point, but um, you can actually... You can actually shift and downshift with the motorcycle without using the clutch. And I think I've seen people make the argument or the judgment that you don't need a, a quick shifter, which a quick shifter is essentially a piece of equipment you can you can put on a motorcycle that makes it so you don't have to use the clutch. Um, but you can actually do you can actually shift up and down without a clutch or a quick shifter. And so some people like to think that you don't need a quick shifter and they're like, not a scam, but like they're just not necessary. So really, when you pull the clutch in, you're 
taking basically you're, you're putting the bike in a neutral um, for a split second while you shift gears that way you can change the transmission again I'm not a mechanical head my brother if he's watching this video he'll probably get a little bit angry at me for the terminology I use but um, basically when the engine is when you pull the clutch in the engines in neutral the transmissions in neutral not the engine um, and so that's what the purpose of the clutch is because you need a bit of you need that release of pressure or whatever it needs to be the the transmission has to be free to move so you can change gears right and so that's what you put it in neutral for the gears won't grind together because when you're in gear the gears are locked in so you can obviously rotate so the motor can cylinders whatever it is that rotates i think something rotates which in turn on a motorcycle uh moves a part that then moves the chain which the chain then moves the sprocket on the rear wheel and the sprocket therefore then moves the rear wheel so so much of that's going to be wrong <laughs> but um when you're so instead of having to pull the clutch in you can actually release that pressure by just letting off the throttle and for a split second after you let off the throttle you can actually shift gears and you notice when you're riding a motorcycle if you're cruising and you don't pull the clutch in say you're in third gear you're just cruising if you don't pull the clutch in it won't let you shift up in a gear like the trans the the, the shifter will not it'll lock up it won't let you kick up just like if in your, in your you're in your top gear and you try to do it so i'm going to shift here without the clutch hopefully you can see it in the video left hands off and so it might be kind of hard to see but what I'm doing is basically you just you just release the throttle and for a, a split second after you're off the throttle that you're you're putting that you're taking that pressure off the engine see I don't know if it technically goes into neutral but whatever it is it's enough to get you to where you can shift so I don't do that very often. However, the shifts are quicker, I will say. The shifts are much quicker, and some people actually think it's more efficient. Uh, I don't know how well it is for the bike. Um, and you can do the same thing for downshifting. You just have to do the opposite with the throttle. You bring the throttle up, so you give the bike a little bit of throttle, and then you, um, and then you, then you downshift as you do that. Now, I don't do the downshifting version of that very often because I'm not very good at it. And more so than not, it just makes me lurch the bike a little bit. Um, so I don't do the downshifting one. I mainly just rev match as you see me like flick when I flick the clutch and I do a little flick on the throttle. That's me uh, downshifting where I'm rev matching, not actually um, clutchless shifting. So just a little interesting thing you can do I could make a more comprehensive video on it but I just wanted to mention it briefly because it's kind of an interesting thing I don't use it very often I normally just clutch to shift um, but it's something you can do like it's good to know in case your clutch goes out for some reason so you can do that um, but yeah just something to think about Anyways, hope you guys have a good day. Enjoy this beautiful weather. Nice little Honda. I think that's a hybrid bike or whatever they call those. Uh, Multi-sport, I think. Because it's like kind of a dirt bike, but kind of a sport bike at the same time. Anyways, enjoy yourselves.